they were to create a lunar garden in outer space, this is what it would look like. We have strawberries in here. We have parsley in here. We have the sweet tomato here. Checking the drain systems, make sure they're not being clogged. They're looking good. things in an efficient manner so that we're not spending too much money um, cooling it down or heating it up. We want to try to keep it as even as possible so that you don't make abrupt changes. is not supposed to be fun but it's as fun as it can get and I guess that means that I'm always enjoying getting up and coming to work because we can make a difference we can we can make improvements um, there's really not not the kind of bad stress that you have in some jobs I've, I've had jobs that were not fun and I've decided to stay here because it fits more into my expectation of where my life is going. It fits with my lifestyle and kind of my disposition as well. Tim McMullen, Tim, he's coming to the gate right now. Thank you, copy that. I'll make sure he finds his way back to the east. Biosphere for 28 years. It's just a very nice, uh, you know, it's good for my soul. You know, I, I, I love, uh, I just love taking care of plants. Uh, you go to my house, I have plants inside, outside, you know. Uh, it's just, uh, I get to continue when I leave here. I do the same place with mine. My dad did have a little bit of a garden, you know. I always look up to him, you know, so. I just always think that he's seeing me take care of things here the way he took care of our garden. You know, he, he installed a lot of good quality in, in my family. So that's how I see the biosphere.
main tree for the savanna. And what we do here is we have computer controls that schedule and adjust the amount of flow that goes through the pipes. In the savanna, directly above us, we rain three times a week. And the, the rain basically is as clean as the rain is outside. They duplicated things here like different parts of the world and are taken care of the way they need to be taken care of with the right proper amounts of rain, heat, air, winds. It might be artificial to some people, but you know, it's, it's hard to see it like that. To me, it's so real. I saw when it was being planted, now just to see how big, you know, it's gotten, it's pretty amazing. sense the biosphere is like a living creature. It breathes, contracts, expands. It, um, it changes during the course of the day. So, you know, you may see it, it become very calm at night, and then in the daytime it, it reacts a little bit more differently. The purpose of the lung is to function as an air displacement chamber so that when the air inside the biosphere heated up, it would have a place to go without actually building too much pressure up and breaking the glass. Cleaning the windows. I really enjoyed that. Um, you'd see the end result when you clean these windows. You know, there's a uh, 6,005 panes of glass here. I went all the way to the top of the library and um, I was 125 feet up from the top looking through that glass. And um, I think that was my, my best memory there. You know, uh, some of the guys didn't want to climb that. And so they put me to do it. So. Anyway, I got to clean that part of the glass that I always, uh, every time I walk that way, I, I do look up to see what the glass looks like now. <laughs> I've been here for about 26 years. And I, uh, I worked here for a couple of years before, back when I was a lot younger. So I, I've been here since the 1980s, early 80s. Seems like a long time. I grew up on a ranch that used to be a dude ranch from the 1940s. When I was little, I had goats and horses and animals like that. It was about five miles from here. So I'm, I'm familiar with the area. I've seen the area change a lot over the last 50 years. I know that the ranchers back here, you know, 100 years ago, had no houses. They had to go to Tucson in a wagon, and it took them about seven or eight hours to get down there. <laughs> now it only takes about an hour. The countryside has dried up a little bit more. There used to be a lot more water around here. So the streams are drying up and there's not as much water. It doesn't last as long. It's getting a little bit warmer these days. You used to have a lot of snow on the mountains and it would last until almost June. And now it doesn't last that long.
taken a lot of pride in what I do here because I always feel like uh, my dad passed away, but I, I feel like he's watching what I do and what I've accomplished here in the 28 years that I've been here. And I, I know that he would be very proud of to see what I've done here. So I would uh, just, uh, it's, it's in my heart to take care of this place, period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm probably blessed with a memory that it, it winds back as if it were a movie. I can see people and things as if it were happening right now. I think I, I'm probably different than a lot of people because of that. When I think back 20 or 30 years, to me it seems like a movie. I can recollect almost everything frame by frame. <laughs>